think my fans and, and anybody will love the Lorax because it's just got this magical essence to it. I mean, there's something there's something so insane about the story of that there's such loss, but there's such hope at the end of it. Um, and, and that's always been my favorite thing about this story. She's got some really, really extraordinary characteristics about her personality. She's adventurous and she takes chances and she's brave and she's strong and um, all the while just being the the object of affection for Ted um, and it's just sort of this really cute crush that he has on an older girl. One of the reasons I've been so drawn to Dr. Seuss is the rhyming. I've always had this just obsession with rhyming um, and so I I grew up and became a songwriter, and now I get to rhyme stuff all the time. I think one of my favorite things about the movie, of course, I'm drawn to anything cute. Um, and these these animals in the Lorax are just heartbreakingly cute. Just ridiculously cute. Um, like maximum capacity of cuteness. And you have the swami swans and then these little bears that run around doing flips and they're all just adorable. My favorite thing about Dr. Seuss's books is that he creates an entire world. His imagination spans so far that he's created this entire world of whimsy and quirkiness and you're so drawn into it that you almost forget that you're being fed a really important message. And I think um, the message of the Lorax is you don't know what you have until it's gone. Um, appreciate what you have while you have it. Um, appreciate the beauty in what's there right now and try to preserve it for tomorrow. This book was in part inspired by um, Dr. Seuss's wife, Audrey. And Audrey isn't an original character in the book, but um, for for the filmmakers to create a character and name her after Dr. Seuss's wife is amazing. And, and to get the honor to do the voice for that character is, is pretty cool. Very exciting.